first, the politicians in England thought that they would ban guns and knives, and of course, the result was predictable. The exact opposite of what they had hoped for violent crime happened, violent crime went up. Now, they're concerned about milkshakes. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. Yes, milkshake control, because everyone knows that the British fast food founding fathers never imagined a future where average citizens could get their hands on dangerous high capacity shakes. I mean, Thomas McJefferson, Benjamin McFranklin, George McMason, even the Dairy Queen, they could not have envisioned a future where anyone but the government would wield high calorie shake power that many of the so-called citizens out there assume that they can wield without a permit. All right, seriously, what's this all about? Well, there's absolute craziness going on in England right now. The story is that numerous so-called anti-fascist leftists have been attacking conservative and libertarian-leaning politicians with vanilla milkshakes. Hence, on May 3rd, The Guardian reported that UKIP, that's United Kingdom Independence Party candidate for the European Parliament, Tommy Robinson, was hit for the second time by a milkshake. Molotov. Then on May 10th, Carl Benjamin, better known on YouTube as Sargon of Akkad, who is also a candidate for the European Parliament under the UKIP banner, was hit in Cornwall. And on May 17th, police in Edinburgh, Scotland told local McDonald's staff to stop selling milkshakes because Brexit party leader Nigel Farage, who had already been hit by a vanilla milkshake, was visiting the area. All of which begs the rather important question of why all the lactose intolerance, dude? And perhaps the more important question of why are police exhibiting this collectivist mindset when it comes to people committing crimes with certain objects? Rather than going after the crimes, they're going after the objects. Hence, for example, gun controllers see people commit crimes with guns and they decide they're going to pass statutes about the guns. Not ever bothering to acknowledge the fact that the vast majority of people who own firearms use them defensively far more often than people use them to commit crimes, as a CDC study recently revealed. Yes, indeed, instead of going after the assault with the milkshake, they decide they're going to try to stop the milkshake. So, yeah, you figure, people are going to find other ways to commit the assaults. Maybe they'll get milkshakes elsewhere or make their own milkshakes. And by the way, when it comes to getting the milkshakes elsewhere, this whole circus has also seen the corporation Burger King tweeting about it and possibly winking and nodding in a way of possibly encouraging this. In fact, on the weekend of this ban on McDonald's shakes, Burger King tweeted to the people of the UK, Dear people of Scotland, we're selling milkshakes all weekend. Have fun. Love BK. Hashtag just saying. Talk about crazy. And it gets even wilder for a Guardian opinion writer named Stuart Jeffries actually wrote this, quote, Ridicule is effective protest. Just look at milkshaken Tommy Robinson, which A, assumes that Tommy Robinson is somehow shaken by getting a white milkshake thrown at him. And I don't think so, since this guy is a pretty tough guy. And B, promotes the idea that assault is somehow analogous to protest. So you come here very this is what it has come to. So perhaps we here in the United States can see all these crazy things happening and breathe a sigh of relief that over 200 years ago, a number of people fought in a revolution to separate from the United Kingdom. Yes, we too can raise a toast and say, perhaps, just perhaps, it will never happen here. Well, we're going to have to guard against that greatly. So, make sure you like and subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends about us if you like some of the ideas we're spreading. Thank you so much for watching, and, well, here's to you, everyone. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.